Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome once again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have three coins for you from Italy. They are all 100 lira coins. We have the 1956 100 lira, the 1978 100 lira, and the 1993 100 lira coins. As many of you know, Italy made their own coins until the year 2001, at which time the euro came in. So a lot, there are a lot of these Italian coins out there that have been demonetized. In other words, they're not worth, you can't use them to buy things in Italy anymore. So mainly they have collector value. So the 100 lira coins from 1956 and from 1981, you can see they're pretty much exactly the same. Republica Italiana, Republica Italiana. Uh, at the bottom here, we have the designer's name, which is um, Giuseppe Romagnoli. And down here, what it actually says, if we blow it up, is his business name. And that is uh, Romagnoli Jam Poly Inc. or Incorporated. If we tip these coins up, we see they have a reeded edge. And on the back, we have the goddess Minerva facing to the left. Both of these coins are stainless steel. So it's interesting. You, we don't see that uh, at all anymore, really. But uh, even back uh, then, we didn't see coins that were made with the same design for this long a period of time. So this design went from 1955 until 1989. So we had a 35-year uh, period in which these coins were exactly the same design. They are stainless steel. They are 8 grams, 27.8 millimeters in diameter, and 2 millimeters thick. Now when we bring in the 100 lira coin from 1993, we see that it is quite different. So uh, this is the reverse of the coin, but let's start with that. It's very interesting. We kind of know what's on the front, don't we? So uh, when we turn over, we'll see if we do know. We have a bird flying at the top, a dolphin at the bottom. We have, uh, it looks like stalks of uh, wheat here. And on this side here, we have an olive branch. So we have all these signs or um, symbols of Italy. In the center it says 100 with a circle, which is kind of broken up a little bit by the 100. Lear, 1993, and we have the R over here for the mint. If we turn it over to the front, we see once, we, oh, when we turn it over, we see it's not reeded all the way. It is a uh, kind of a smooth and milled edge, they call it, smooth milled or smooth reeded edge. When we turn it over, we don't see the same woman's image on there. And there's a reason for that, and that is that these coins were designed by Laura Cetera. And in, some of you may remember she did the um, 500 lira coin that came out in the uh, 90s also. Uh, actually, the late 80s, the mid 80s also, and that was a bimetallic coin. So Laura Cetera did these, and she used a different image of Mother Italy, still facing to the left, but now we see that um, Mother Italy um, has kind of a wrap around her hair. They call it a turreted cap, and her hair is kind of flowing out a little bit from the bottom. We see at the very bottom here, we see the two stars, and then we see Laura Cetera's um, Craterus, I'm sorry, name right here, and it's C-R-E-T-A-R-A. -R -A. Let me see if we can get that back in. So, this is a 1993 100 lira. This is a 1976 100 lira, and this is a 1956 100 lira. The 1993 coin 
is a copper nickel coin. You can't really tell, even if we get, yep, yeah, there you go. See how this, a little bit of a different shade here where the copper comes out a little bit more? So the copper nickel coin and then the stainless next to it. This coin first year was 1993. And in 1993, there were 211 million of these made. So it's likely if you have this coin, you might have the 1993 version the first year it was made. But though, that doesn't mean it's valueless, but it, it um, means that a lot of people will have them. So this is probably worth 25 cents American, maybe maybe as much as 50 cents American for the first year uh, in a fine condition. Um, this particular coin, um, because it is no longer um, monetized either, of course, because of the euro. So when we look at these coins, so this one, we had 211 million made. The 1956, we had 99.8 million, or essentially almost 100 million. And the 1981, we had 122 million. Okay, that's all we have today for you from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel if you like these videos and leave a comment in the comment section if there's any videos you'd like to see us do or if you would like uh, to have us change something or do something differently. Have a great day.